Hi, it's Donna, and welcome to my channel. And today I have for you my favorite beauty bath items from the Dollar Tree. There are some things that I have purchased and I haven't tried yet, so I can't really call them my favorites. And I don't have them in any particular order. I just wanted to show them to you. And so I hope you'll enjoy this haul. And if you really like something or you've been looking for something or if you've tried something that I've showed, please leave a message down below in the comment section for me. And if you do like this video, please hit thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And please subscribe if you're a new subscriber. I would really love to have you be in uh, one of my subscribers. I love all my subscribers and I appreciate them very much and I appreciate you watching. Okay, so let's get into this top favorite beauty items from the Dollar Tree. Most of them are name brand. and These are items that you'll find down the beauty aisle or the bath aisle, not makeup. So I've already done one of those and I'll link it down below, my favorite makeup items that I've purchased at the Dollar Tree. But these are items that I have purchased and I have tried and that I absolutely love. So anyway, we're gonna get started. One of my absolute favorites is this bath sponge, bath scrunchy, whatever you guys call it. I guess it's called a wooden bath brush for my April bath and showers. I just bought a new one today so that I would have an extra one because when I try to pick them up when I see them, because they don't always have them. This one has a nice wooden handle. It's good for scrubbing your back, uh, the back of your legs, your neck, anything that you can't reach with your arms or have problems with your arms reaching. This is really good for that. Uh, it's good to put in a gift basket. Uh, if you're doing like a little bath and beauty gift basket for somebody, this is really, it comes in pink. I believe it came in like light blue and this, this color. And if there's some other colors, I don't remember, but I know it comes in pink and light blue and this color. And this is my favorite of those colors. So that's the first item. Something that I buy a lot of at the Dollar Tree on that bath and, bath and beauty aisle is face mask. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have a lot of favorite face masks. Uh, one of the brands that I really love to come across, especially if they have something new, is the O OK with the little panda. And this is made in Korea and it's not tested on animals, which is one of the reasons why I really like it. I also like the Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. Uh, the one that's infused with glycolic acid. This is also a, a Korean brand that's not tested on animals. Biomerical Skin Therapy. Uh, Garnier, uh, we all know, is a really good brand. Uh, and this is the one that has the liquid. It has hydroic acid that when you squeeze it, it goes to the top of the mask. And then one of my absolute favorites is the Spa Life. I had one one time that had guava. It was guava scented from Spa Life and it was wonderful. This is a Forever Luminous Facial Mask, uh, goat milk and Mediterranean olive oil for anti-aging and firming. And I need to go in there and use one of these right now. This one was made in Korea. So um, I really, really like this. That's one of my favorite things to get. Also, wipes. And I'm picky about my wipes. These were from Global Beauty Care. This is the Botanicals Collection. I like the ones that come in the 60 count package when I can find them, because they're extra large. Uh, they're, you get 60 wipes, and they're really big, and they have a lot of coverage when they're that big. And like I said, I've told y'all before, I add my cleanser to it or my makeup remover to it and use it that way as well. Something that I found and I haven't found it again and I think it, it hopefully it'll come back because I really like it. It was really hard for me to find. I kept looking for it and I think I found one item one day and one item the next. I haven't found a lot of them. Like when I do find them, there's usually one or two. This is called Thicker Fuller Hair and there's two different items. Um, my hair is thinning and this one is 100% vegan, sulfate free, gluten free. Uh, this is made in the USA and it is color safe and not tested on animals. It, this one is the Nourishing Scalp Tonic and it has a little cap that I forgot to bring in here that goes over it. 
and then this one is the root lifting serum fuller thicker hair when I see more of this I will grab it because I, I really do like that product something that I use every day and I've purchased one for my mom and I talked Dina into getting one the other day when we were at the Dollar Tree spa scriptions micellar water I've seen it in rose I've seen it in citrus and I've seen it in green this is also cruelty free global beauty care love these power sticks I have the foot and heel cream and the shave cream. I really like both of these a lot. The shave cream is apricot oil, and this is Beauty and Skin Care Power Stick for her. And this one is Ultra Moisturizing Foot and Heel Cream with Jehovah Oil Aloe and Shea Butter. Really like this. I have definitely used this one quite a bit. These are also cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, and dye-free. Dermacell extra moisturizing hand wash in the cherry almond scent. Absolutely love this cherry almond scent. Uh, this is distributed by Fantasia Beauty and it is a hand wash by Dermacell. Love the cherry almond scent. That's probably what puts it, but y'all know Dermacell is a good brand. It's a major brand, so this is hand wash. Most of my hand wash comes from Bath & Body, just to be honest with you, but I really do like that. Uh, something that I picked up when it's around is the L'Oreal hair, because, you know, hair stuff is also part of the beauty aisle, is the Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. This is clay, and I have used this quite a bit, and this is Normal to Oily Hair by L'Oreal, and it is a dry shampoo, and I have used this quite a bit. I don't even think there's very much left, so I might want to pick up another one next time I see it. Okay, this was a, it's a glittery grapefruit body spray and it is vegan friendly gluten free and not tested on animals and sulfate free it is by fabric in pw london we live like this do you refresh grapefruit body spray and it has some little uh, sparklies in it it's just do you and it was a grapefruit scented and has little sparklies and i really like this i thought it was nice I thought it smelled really good. You can see I haven't used just a whole lot of it because I have a lot of body spray and I have a lot of this sparkly spray. So, you know, I just try to spread it around a little bit. Use a little bit of it here and there. I just purchased this. Uh, it is the Bolero Shimmer Body Lotion Mist Tropical Coconut. Absolutely love the Tropical Coconut. I bought pineapple and watermelon. I'm using the watermelon, uh, but this coconut scented one, ugh. Something else that I really enjoyed, there was the shampoo bar. And I think I told y'all that I accidentally left the one that I bought, uh, that I actually used for my shampoo, but it lathered up really well, which I was excited about. It comes in this little travel tin. This one's fresh mango. It comes in three other scents. Uh, this is with lemon oil and coconut oil. It's by Body and Earth. It's a shampoo bar. It lasts up to 50 washes, and it is not tested on animals by Body and Earth. And I have a green one that I just purchased again the other day because that was the original one I had. I think it's Ocean. They have a Mercula oil and a berry. So they have four different scents, four different colors, but the mango is my favorite. Anyway, that is all I could find that I really, really like and all this stuff that I really enjoy in my bathroom that I'm using. Uh, sometimes I do stuff, I purchase stuff that is a fail or I purchase stuff that I just don't use. And there's some stuff in there that I bought at the Dollar Tree that I'm just not using. It doesn't mean it's not good, I'm just not using it right now. Um, which, I don't know, you can kind of take that as it's a good or bad, I don't know. Maybe I just need to use it. I need to stop buying so much and use it. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for tolerating my video. <laughs> if you've watched it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. Please do the thumbs up. Please comment below any of these products that you like or don't like. Please give me your opinions. I love to hear them. And have a great week and God bless you.